Citizens of the Reject Nation, we are diving deeper into the tomorrow verse with Green Lantern. Beware my power. Uh, Green Lantern's light. I am very excited to watch this because uh, we jumped around the tomorrow verse a little bit, but now we're, we're on a path. Yeah, uh, yeah. we started accept? with Batman and now we're on track. So we're getting there. And, and I think you mentioned uh, our first Green Lantern title. Yeah, that's right. It's it's first solo Green Lantern joint. Crazy. We've watched like 20 of these. Yeah, and is there always Nathan Fillion? So excited to How see what we, we get this just now here. Yeah. So we're excited. Uh, we want to thank our friends over at Prepper for helping this edit exist. We want to thank our patrons for watching it unedited from front to back, beginning to end, with our resting watching faces. And we want to thank all of you for liking, subscribing, and commenting, and all of the things you do on the YouTubes to keep this page going. You guys have been loving these, so we love doing them. Please keep commenting and letting us know what you want to watch next, and we'll keep making them because they're a good time. So without further ado, let's beware our power, Green Lantern's Light. Damn. It's kind of driving through a city. I mean, we're, we're driving. Yeah. <laughs> there, there are cars. Damn. Whoa. Very ripped from the headlines. Damn. Oh. Ow. Oh, it's John Stewart movie. We told you to leave this, Sally. Oh, jeez, man. And now you pay the price. <laughs> We're gonna light you on fire. Oh, oh God, they wow. really are gonna light him on fire. <laughs> Ugh, but where my power? Green Lantern's light. Stop. You wanna play bodyguard for this garbage? <laughs> I guess I do. <laughs> Then you're a dead man too. We're all dead. Everyone's dead. Dead, dead, dead. The end is nigh. Watchmen spinoff. There's a Watchmen anime movie coming up. Oh, look out! <laughs> yes, this will go well. Police, freeze! Ugh. Oh. Ah. This guy's a Medal of Honor winner. Citation list a mile long. Do we really want to risk getting heat from social media or the press? Gamers are so hard to satisfy. It's true. It's true. He's got those medals. All those Medal of Honor tournaments. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Jeez. I found you, John Stewart. How do you know me? You must. Lay still. I'm gonna take you to the hospital. The galaxy is on Orion's b <laughs> Oh no. Oh. No. It's very efficient for burials, though. Yes. Come with your own funeral pyre. Yeah. A lot less waste. Ashes immediately scattered. Yeah. Efficiency. It's drawn to you. John Stewart of Earth. <laughs> Fair. You possess singular will. Welcome to the Green Lantern Corps. Wow. Get off of me! Sweet. You are tasked with halting five genocides in this sector. Then you must uh. stop the Baelishian War. Pound sand, Ring! Pound sand! Oh no. Oh no! Damn. I mean, it did. It's every you told. Is there someone who would know what to do in this situation? Affirmative. Can you show them to me? Whoa. I love that it just dictates this to you. Yeah. It's like, you're a lantern now. Yep. Tough. Deal with it. <laughs> What's that up ahead? It is called the Justice League Watchtower. They did form that little team after all. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. There was no Green Lantern, I don't think. And will Batman have joined? So I think we're after a long Halloween now. I think so, yeah. Intruder. Kill him. Alpha defense pattern. Damn. Back off. Dang. Shrapnel. Whoa. Nice. Jeez. Someone say something. Whoa. 
Dang. <laughs> yeah. It's your Bowie knife. I have pointy ones too. Green arrow, wait. <laughs> Look. Are you a Green Lantern? I'm not here to fight. I just want to get rid of this thing. <laughs> Powering. Who is your previous owner? Green Lantern, Hal Jordan. Oh. oh. Hal Jordan is dead? Who are you? How did you get our friend's ring? My name is John Stewart, and if I told you, you wouldn't believe me. Uh, try us. You're on a space station with, like, powered people. <laughs> ah. like the Justice League. I'm a Martian. I just, like, extended my neck at you. <laughs> Perhaps this is connected to those disturbances in deep space. We cannot leave Earth unprotected. I am the only one qualified to administrate the Watchtower. Yes. Can any of you get this ring off me? So it should be possible, unless... The ring's programming was changed, but these Guardians, they could get it off. They did create the power rings. They do have some dish soap and some warm water. <laughs> and patience. <laughs> yes. Then I'm going to this old place with you. You got a problem with that? Talk to the hand. A giant hand comes out. You're both green. You'll make the perfect team. Everyone's fine with this. Are there else worlds where Green Arrow is also a lantern? Uh, yeah, yeah, there's a couple actually now that I think of it. You seem to know your way around. Actually, I've never seen it before, but Hal once explained to me that the real measure of any advanced technology is how intuitive it is to use. Good point. That is a good way to explain something like that. In a sentence. <laughs> yeah. Talk to your ring, but just ask it for directions, Doa. In fact, just tell it to put him into the ship's autopilot and get us moving. Can you do it? Unlocking systems. Integrating. Coordinate set. <laughs> it's a very fun origin story so far for him. Yeah, I like we're just diving right in. They decided a police force was necessary to keep order. These they call Green Lanterns. Yes. Getting cosmic. Oh. This is why they haven't returned our calls. Good thing I've got a bow and arrow. For a second, I thought I was just going to shoot the one on the <laughs> ground. <laughs> Let's just make sure. Double tap, double tap. Everything here is built around that building. No. Like it's important to something. Maybe we'll find some answers there. Nice to see you're not useless. So encouraging, Oliver. Sinestro. He trained Hal into becoming the greatest Green Lantern ever. He turned into an evil psycho. I'm guessing they left that part out when they gave the tour. <laughs> this place was wrecked because they tried to take the statue down. <laughs> this is what lanterns use to recharge their rings. You'll need one. I'm here to get rid of this thing, remember? Better to be prepared. <laughs> this is really fun as a first Green Lantern movie, but especially with there being none others in the universe, like in the other universe either. The only lantern. <gasps> Whoa. Ah! Hawk girl? <laughs> Make a stronger shield. Nice. That's clever. <laughs> nice. Lethal force is not authorized. <sighs> Lethal force is not. You're killing her. Come on, man. Snap out of it. I am Shayara Hall, warrior of Thanagar First Order, a Ranian ship. It must have carried one of their kill squads instead of the diplomats listed in the logs. Or maybe they were diplomat killers. My ship was destroyed in battle. I came to seek aid from the Guardians in our war against the honorless Ranians, but was too late. Wow. Oh, place is already wrecked. After years of bloody war, we finally achieved the tenuous peace. Thanagar and Ran agreed to a joint project led by Sardath and Banthar. Damn. Zeta Beam technology would be harnessed to create a bridge between our worlds and boost both of our economies. <laughs> Thumbs. It's cool, guys. We're gonna fly by. Ooh, yeah. Whoa. Sounds like the Initially Bifrost. The project was a great yeah. success. Great success. Very nice. My wife. <laughs> What did you do, beard man? Oh, whoa. Are you doing another test? Come on, Hal. Something, Something has gone wrong. wrong. What was your first clue? You must stop the platform from firing. 
Get a giant cork. Stand right in front of it. Whoa. Jeepers. Kame. Kame. Ah! Ah! Lantern's light. <laughs> Haldukan! <laughs> Zeta Force transported the entire planet of Thanagar into Ranian space, upsetting the ecosystem of both planets. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. How do you know it wasn't an accident? And this ship doesn't prove anything. Uh -huh. A true warrior does not ask questions. They do not hesitate. Uh, they kill. That's a murderer. Yeah. You're describing. <laughs> Different word use. I thought you wanted to get rid of it. But you both need me to make the ship go to some place where they might be shooting. <laughs> well, yeah. And probably, more than likely, <laughs> almost definitely, actually. <laughs> Ring at three percent power. Where's the battery? Ah, uh, can we get a fast charge version of this? <laughs> Is there wireless? I can just. Yeah. It's not doing anything. You gotta say the oath. Repeat after me. <laughs> in brightest day, in blackest night, no evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship evil's might beware my power, Green Lantern's oh. light. You're kidding, right? No, I am not. Also rhyme. Say it out loud and proud. <laughs> <laughs> I love Green Arrow in this. <sighs> Damn. Gonna be so charged up. Lanterned. Power at 800%. <laughs> cool. Dude, so many of these backgrounds. Yeah. Beautiful sci-fi fantasy art. I mean, they had to go to Tatooine. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> where do you go? It's required. The Ranian scum have murdered the Thanagarians sent to destroy them. You hear yourself, right? <laughs> Sounds like you both have an intolerance issue. Yeah, a little judgmental there, Thanagarian. Whoa, yeah, He's learning. dude. Ooh. No, Adam Strange? Adam Strange! Oh. oh, I'm excited. When they said Randy and I hope we get Adam Strange, you're gonna like him. He's oh. crazy. I'm excited. I know nothing. Oh. Dang. Ha. <laughs> Does everyone here want to kill each other? <laughs> yes. War. Common theme this movie. Damn. <laughs> nice. We need to question it. Of course. <laughs> Interrogation first. <laughs> then execution. Sure, whatever you say. Just put the nth metal down. <laughs> uh, he's like the ultimate sci-fi, space, fantasy, OG character. What was that bright light that brought you here? He's a green lantern, aren't they allies of yours? Answer, Thor. <laughs> Until his people killed the Guardians. First things first, the bright light. It was a Zeta beam. They seem attracted to me. I don't know why. Cool. They transport me to different far-reaching parts of the galaxy. I have little control over them. That is very inconvenient. But I'm Adam Strange. Adam Strange is dead. A Zeta beam took me and I couldn't figure out how to get back. So how are you here now? Random chance. Random? Uh, 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 uh. Ronians would never attack Oa. Okay then, let's go to your high command and see if you're right. Our answers will be found on Ran. And so will my vengeance. <laughs> Kill everyone when I get there. I do love that both major universes have a just a highly skilled bow and arrow guy just keep up with gods. <laughs> I know. They're both like snarky every man that just hang. I may be able to access the main computer with a scan of my DNA. Oh yeah, they they love you. <laughs> <laughs> I love Green Arrow. It's me, Adam Strange. He's dead. Scan me and see the truth. He got better. <laughs> the Thanagarian is your prisoner. You ran him. She's helping solve a mystery that affects both Ran and Thanagar. But we need your help. Can we tap into your ship's computers? 
Listen to Kurt Russell in the thing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> RJ McCready knows what's up. Our greatest scientist is building a weapon that will destroy Thanagar. Sardaf. Where? Only a few key people know. I'm not one of them. <laughs> you sure? Can you do anything to get the battle cruiser moving again? Rerouting power to the Kettle engines is possible. It may be enough to defeat the gravitational pull of the Red Dwarf. Do it. Accordion Cola, do it, do it. Ranian battle cruiser has escaped the Red Dwarf's gravitational pull. Thank, Thank you, Adam Strange. Onward for Ron. Dude. Ah. <sighs> Come on, man. <laughs> His last moments. He's going back to the battle. His ship is useless. What can he hope to do? Got a death wish. The kamikaze now. Witness me! <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Dude. Not a good guy. A noble death in battle. <laughs> For everyone involved. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we can agree on something. Oh, man. Jesus. <laughs> when the Zeta Beam transported Thanagar into Rand's atmosphere, it caused catastrophic climate disasters. Yeah. The planet survived, and that's what started the war. The day after tomorrow, Dennis Quaid saved them. <laughs> Now Sardath has re-engineered the Zeta Beam into a weapon of total destruction. We were examining the data on the attack on Oa. Ooh. Who is that? We examined the drive signature it left behind. It was identical to a ship that bombarded the United Galactic Council headquarters years ago. Whoa. It was a Thanagarian ship. And that same ship signature was also found at the scene of many more unwarranted attacks. Someone false flagging you guys. Calculated the direction the drive signatures left after many such attacks. The ship headed in this direction. And if we triangulate the escape routes, they all meet here in this sector. Oh. I actually like that they haven't made Earth-centric uh, for Green Lantern. It's always weird that they're like, we gotta go to Earth. Yeah, right. Cosmic's the move. Well, and this is very much like a space police kind of situation. Yeah. yeah. Artificial gravity and oxygen. Well, since they made it so hospitable, let's go pay him a visit. Dat asteroid. Ooh. <laughs> I'm getting good with that ring. Do. <laughs> Yellow's not good, bro. <laughs> Fight it. The color of fear. Fight it with your will. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Drop your weapons or this green lantern becomes green slime. <laughs> sure. While we're on the subject. Ooh. I think I'll relieve you of this. No. Oh. With your lack of experience, you give new meaning to the name Green Lantern. <laughs> Why don't you just kill us? Because I may have a use for you. We could dig our way out. Good thing I've got a head start. Hey. Oh. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Yep, yep. You and McGregor. <laughs> we came looking for you after your ring turned up on his finger. His name's John Stewart, or J. Stu for short. <laughs> Sinestro. We think he disguised his ship as a Ranian vessel and attacked them. He sabotaged Sardath's grand experiment. Ah, uh, sure. I was asked to keep watch on Sardath's experiment. Sinestro infiltrated the base. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. I was pulled onto the planet before it teleported with everyone else. Before I passed out, I released my ring so Sinestro couldn't get it. He's got it now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Immaculate abs still. Show it, you cowards. <laughs> His lantern's light. <laughs> Sardath is going to use Zeta beams as a mega weapon. He's trying it out in a secret location. Only the Ronian High Command knows where. Los Alamos. Thank you for all that information. See? Uh, you were useful after all. No matter how much of an assault you launch on Ram, their defenses are too good. What a splendid idea. Don't mind if I do. Would an inth metal knife help? The hardest substance in the universe? Yeah, might come in handy. <laughs> yeah, jump on it. That's handy. Yeah. 
Wee. I'll fire up the engines. We need to get the ring. What? Come on, all you've done is complain about it. Now you want it? <laughs> it doesn't matter where the ring is. It'll find a way to get to him. Close your eyes and will it back. Yeah, and Sinestro probably put it with all of our other weapons. See if you can grab those up too. Huh? <laughs> you probably can. Make a big net. But there's yellow in green. There is. What does blue do? Blue courage? There are blue, there are blue lanterns. I forget which color switch. Ooh. Yes. Hoo. <laughs> Later. <laughs> Ring, do we have enough fuel to make a jump to warp speed? Inconclusive. That's wonderful. <laughs> He's got like a Ryan Reynolds energy, but I know it's not him. Yeah, it's definitely someone in that vein, though. Yeah. The snark is strong. <laughs> Real good snark. Maybe Nolan North? Could be. I, he does a lot of these, yeah. Adam Strange calling Ronnie in high command. Commander Strange is no longer. Jorsen, it's Adam. Are you still terrible at Jaggerat? <laughs> By her lady's grace, it is you. Open a window on the shield for us to get through. The window will open for two seconds. Be good at this. Annihilate them. <laughs> That's Sinestro. Yeah. Yeah. Nicely done. We've uncovered a plot by a band of rogue agents to start and keep this war going between our worlds. They're the ones firing on you now. That ship is not Thanagarian. We never thought to check. <laughs> Guys, no. Did you just call out that plot hole? Did you just say it out loud? No. We didn't think to, to check any data whatsoever. We just hate those guys so much. We just, just completely overlooked that. <laughs> really hate those guys. Don't, Don't deploy, deploy your weapon. weapon. How do you know about Billions it? Billions of innocent lives are at stake. It can't be used. But my weapon is the only thing that will stop the Thanagarians from killing more of us. Easy, Oppenheimer. <laughs> it was the analysis of your unique biology that made it possible to isolate your metagene. Metagene? What? I knew Zeta Energy always Ooh. found you. Ooh. Ooh. And that was my first breakthrough. Is a metahuman? I gained some control over where the Zeta beams went. A Mediranian? He just breaks the fourth wall a lot. <laughs> now I command vast amounts of Zeta energy at will. No one man should have all that power. into a supernova. It's a king to a god. I'm here to prevent you from making a terrible mistake. Your first Zeta experiment was sabotaged. It caused this war. What are you talking about? We're being approached by a Thanagarian attack ship. Oh, uh, guys. By the power of mattress. Yes. <laughs> Ooh. What's he got? Like a missile he's going to throw at him? Yes. Ooh. Yeah. Man's is agile. Come on, Obi Wan. Yes. Oh yeah. Woo! Triple tap. How? Hulked out. He likes murder now. No time to be soft, pal. I wonder if he's gonna go parallax at the end of this. I can see it. I mean, he's pretty, pretty merciless. It's an interesting dichotomy in oh, his character. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. The duality between good and evil. <laughs> this is a little duplicitous. He's definitely perhaps. duplicitous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Pound it. You keep losing that, bro. Rock like, it keeps paper. happening. I know. Destroying the last of the Green Lanterns. That's that's not gonna do it. I feel like it's pretty achievable to summon it with willpower. Use the force. Yes. <laughs> Shoot it through his body. Yeah. yeah. Smart. Ooh. <gasps> like the quarter in first class. Went right. Nice. Up. Yeah. Damn. That's hard. My master. Will kill you all. 
Who are you working for? Cool. I like the way they animate this guy's motion. Yeah. It's like every couple frames, they just, nope. Oh, no. Whew. Giving the jetpack a good name. He's got Wonder Woman's bracelets on. Yeah, the gauntlets. Sardath isn't going to use the weapon. He's handing over the CPU containing the core of his Zeta technology to me. I don't believe that. The code is downloading to this don't storage unit. The only other place where this knowledge is stored is my mind. <laughs> Excellent. Wow! What the hell? What the hell, man? There's still a lot of work to be done. Man, damn. You'll have to do better than that. We had it all backwards. He wasn't Sinestro's prisoner. Hal was his master. Dang. I have him to thank for my transformation. He was the stepping stone so I could fulfill my true calling. Oh, no. With these. Oh, oh God. He's like one of those guys who runs a carnival ride. <laughs> <laughs> That's the cover of the comic. That was cool. That is badass. And horrifying. Yellow and green united. Naked Hal. That's how he convinced him. <laughs> After the experiment. <laughs> little cutscene here. Sinestro yep. infected me with an alien parasite. Whoa. He called it the Parallax Entity. There it is. There you go. There it is. He's, I think you've read a comic read some or comics, two. comics, you know, that uh, I like them. He thought it would bend me to his will. But instead, it opened my eyes. And I immediately grew a beard. <laughs> had to be done. <laughs> Looks cool. Too long I had been blind to the corrosive effect of war and conflict. Mm. No. No. I saw clearly that I was the one destined to change it. I could be a better guardian than the guardians. There was no use for them anymore. Centralize all power to me. I didn't have to wear pants because no one was there. I like how naked this universe has been Very so far. Very naked. I think each one naked is a little... Superman. Yeah. <laughs> had a butt all the time. He became my main acolyte. Woohoo. Jeez, man. <laughs> Super Saiyan Hal Jordan. Do you think the carpet also glowed yellow? Oh, for sure. <laughs> they kept that frame high. Yeah. I love the the yellow on impact with the green. Yeah, it's a really cool flourish. And his like the lighting phasey, as he moves like, around. Yeah. yeah. Make the choice. And join me in making a new and better galaxy. My only choice is to stop you or die trying. Yeah. My only choice is you're a bitch. Jeez. Why fight me? Aren't I doing exactly what you'd do if you were in my place? I can see it in your eyes. Tomorrow never dies. No, you're wrong. <laughs> Damn. It's locked. We'll never get through on time. I forgot the password. <laughs> Tried too many times. The 30 seconds, 45 seconds of lockdown. It can't be stopped, but maybe it can be redirected. What are you saying? Shyara, keep an eye on the universe for me while I'm gone. Mm. I like you as allies. In brightest day. Yeah. In blackest night. No evil shall escape my sight. Yeah. Worship evil's might. Yes. Beware my power. Let's <laughs> regular punch them. Yeah. Sweet, suit up. man. Full suit. That's great. Yes. Oh. Come on, buddy. I finally remembered why I fight. <laughs> yes. And why, whatever price I have to pay, I'm okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, take an eye out. Maybe the Guardians made the right choice by making me a Green Lantern. Ooh. Oh. Ah. The beam's locked.
locked in. We tried everything we can think of. Damn it. Missed one. Oh no, of course. You're too soft to be a lantern. Ooh, buddy. Thanks, Ollie. Look. Oh. Oh, dang. Oh. For you, Alana. Oh my. No. I mean, yeah, but no. For Iranian, <laughs> he was very brave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> High compliment. Thanks for the ride, Shira. Now there's just one more thing left to do. <laughs> Rebuild the Green Lantern Corps. Dang. Go out there and find your worthy suitors. Congratulations, hero. You're a Green Lantern. How's it feel? I'm starving. Let's get something to eat and toast our absent friends. And maybe a few new ones. Let's go to Bibbo's. <laughs> Let's go get some guy. seafood. <laughs> Who was Ollie? Dude. That was so good. That was tray legitimate. I want to know. I want to know. Absolutely. Oh my god. I was. I like this tomorrow verse, man. That was yeah, great. it's been great so far. Big I, fan. I've enjoyed every single installment. Very consistent first three. Yeah. And really like interesting takes on each of the characters. Really nice, like big and cinematic. Yeah. And already established, like it's already in universe. And, like, it seems like, at least from my vantage point, in keeping with the... Oh, here we go. Aldous Hodge, Jimmy John Simpson Stewart. Jimmy Simpson was Green Arrow. Sweet. I can hear it now, but I wouldn't have guessed it ever. No way! <laughs> Nolan North was Hal, though. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I was close, just wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, like... I love that Aldous wasn't Hawkman. He was... I know! He's Aldous great. Hodge was He's in Hal a Jordan movie with said. Hawk Girl as, yeah. Hawk, as Hal Jordan. That's great. You know, he, he asked her for some tips. Yeah, they had, they had to talk about Thanagarians uh, or, on set, of course. Or actually, I mean, given when this came out, this they probably were probably was, in production like yeah. similar times. Yeah. They probably talked about Nth Metal. Oh, um, man. But yeah, it seems like these Tomorrowverse joints so far have had like a nice grip on like, here are classic tenets of these characters, but we're also going to kind of... Uh, like the Batman and Superman ones, you know, it's like Superman, you meet him in a slightly different version of the story and you meet him part way through the origin. Sure. And then Batman, you're doing Long Halloween. So that's like he's already fledged and established and you're yeah. seeing this one specific sort of swath of time. And then here it's like, you know, you do have the origin like this is an origin story for uh, John Stewart, it, it feels like. And yeah, something that, you know, I don't know, it seems like it. I don't know as much about Green Lantern as some of the other characters, but it seemed like it really kind of used all those core tenets, but then also made it this interesting, broadly cosmic kind of, no, not super deep, but, you know, like a commentary on war tensions and yeah. the deceits of war and the ways in which, you know, both sides of a conflict can have these skewed views of one another and be manipulated by outside forces. And so, like, starting off, you know, with these traumatic memories of his time in Afghanistan. Yeah. And then launching him into this situation where you've got this cosmic war between these two warring factions of people who, you know, shouldn't really be at odds. This is 2022. Yeah. So this is definitely it's wild. Definitely Eldest Hodge was it, yeah. he probably not even wrapped. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> maybe some overlap in the wow. of these. And now we got them all sharing uh roles. So like Eldest Hodge if he got to stay would be Hawkman. Uh, yeah, I'm really curious how the tomorrow verse goes with it being ongoing and with uh, James Gunn's like everyone cast will be. Yeah, I wonder if they'll Elseworlds that or if or if his because I mean they have again more tomorrow verse films slated at least it into 2024. Into the, I want to say because yeah. they're going to do Crisis on Infinite Earths and they have I think th I mean I don't know if it's in the continuity but I mean DC animated has Watchmen I think coming up. Yeah, um, so. 
I'm really excited for us to catch up and watch it new. Yeah, right? Because well, uh, yeah, then we'll get to a point where it's just like, new animated movie. Let's yeah. jump on it, you know? And we do have some fun stuff coming uh, that people don't know about with some other things you'll have requested. Ooh. Might be getting more than just the one animated movie with some others. You'll, you'll see, you'll see. Who if knows? it hasn't already aired. If it Who hasn't knows? already aired. We don't, what order is any of this? <laughs> yeah. um, I really, really dug that I didn't know Adam Strange was going to be in this. Uh, there's a comic called yeah. Strange Adventures that is, uh, I've talked about him before. Tom King. Uh, Tom King wrote a 12-issue uh, maxi-series about Adam Strange, but he did a really cool thing where um, one storyline is with one artist and one storyline is with another artist, and you get to see subjective versus objective, kind of like with Oppenheimer, how oh, cool. color versus black and white. It's yeah. one artist, Doc Trainer, and one artist, Mitch Gerard's doing different parts of the story, so you can interpret the war crimes yeah. of like how what how much is that a war crime it's a really good book mm. and a lot of still alive in it um it's beautifully done um but it's about like the the conflict of the iranians and uh and what you know you what, what lengths to go where it's still justified in war yeah jeez yeah I would love Adam to read something like that and i love i love uh I would love to see more of that character because just this is my first introduction to the whole I idea. I know, I'm so excited. I'm like, oh, it's yeah. going to be Adam Strange. And that seemed like he was just such a cool, compelling presence on screen. Cool. Does he always look like that? Yeah, he's, well, he's got the beard in some timeline. He's also got this very clean cut, like George Clooney. Like, he's like the classic 50s swashbuckling, almost rocketeer. Sure, So like yeah. a space rocketeer character. Just a guy who's always kind of out on some adventure yeah. and, and, and flying solo and getting into almost like wandering warriors. Yeah, it's thing. very Star Trek. Um, uh, Star Trek and, means and, kung fu. Uh, yeah, in that like deep space, like I'm the guy with the gun and blah, like that, like more classic comic uh, of the '50s and earlier tropes. See, that's the thing I loved. Part of what I loved so much about this was that it had this nice juxtaposition of like you're dealing with a war conflict. Again, you're dealing with these false flag scenarios, and you're dealing with all this like grim deception. But then you also have this stuff that's that does feel very sci-fi serial and very fantasy sci-fi. Yeah. Like some of these beautiful uh, just planet scapes that they have, even when they're wrecked. Just like the designs and the mood and the tone, and and yeah, taking it like you pointed out in during the movie was, was you know they always seem to want to bring it to earth <laughs> for so many things and i yeah. feel like i can definitely see that being a problem with you know doing some lantern stuff and so yeah i like that it's like this felt like an appropriate origin for hal yeah uh, or sorry for not hal, john. john for john stewart um but it was also an ensemble movie and it's also you know about more than that without ever feeling like either one is getting slighted yeah i feel like the way they introduced John was perfect for John, but Hal didn't feel like they just used him to get rid of him. They they gave a new take on a character a lot of people know. Yeah, and it, and it makes for some fun, dramatic dynamics because you have a f person you're designed to trust, Hal, and then you have other characters who obviously you don't like Sinestro, but then you also have guys in the middle, like yeah. uh, the scientist developing the, the big Zeta Beam weapon, and you're like... I don't know if I like him or do I trust this Dune guy? Yeah, and like once he's, uh, you know, dispatched, you're like, okay, I think that guy was just kind of doing his thing. Yeah. just was like suspicious of what was happening was a at fun the moment. Mislead. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like this was really conscientious, and I like that, you know, you have that brief moment with the Justice League. You get a mm -hmm. little bit of Martian Man Manhunter. Who's got more time in this universe than three movies, it's, and he wasn't even in one of them. It's so weird. He feels like... It, a much stronger presence, even oh, though yeah. he only has this one scene. But you're movie. like, we loved him in the last one, so it's like, yeah. I feel that that residual presence. Yeah, and who was that with him? Was that Vixen? There's a Vixen credit. Oh, yeah, yeah, Vixen um, was the, the woman in the, the, the powers that she dove and, through. Yeah. Um, and that was like a, a surprise. Did not expect her. Yeah. Uh, so she must have joined between movies. It's like, it's cool. <laughs> yeah, right. I wonder if she'll become more of a character oh, later. Oh, sure. But uh, it just had this this lovely quality where, yeah, I never felt like it was, you know, Jimmy like, Simpson. take it to, I know, right? Like, and I loved his performance here, and I never would have expected. And Green Arrow, I thought, was, again, like, a character I wouldn't necessarily expect to be the guy. Show. Like, I would expect Martian Manhunter to shepherd uh, yeah. Jon Stewart around during this journey. So to have him as your eye line, to have him as, like, your most normal guy throughout all this uh, I thought was a great choice Evil Nolan North was solid yeah uh, I want Jamie Simpson and Sam Rockwell to play brothers sure yeah that's definitely. the thing I want um, I really liked this introduction for Jon Stewart uh, Aldous Hodge crushed obviously yeah. but getting to see Jon Stewart uh, get his own movie was exciting because we literally knew so little we were describing it as a Hal 
Jordan movie before it because yeah. that was the assumption. Um, but like, I really, really like uh, when John Stewart gets his own time to shine, like not as a sidekick. Like a lot of really good John Stewart comics are him having to make hard wartime decisions because they they lean into that element. And with John Stewart being confirmed for the show, the live action show, I'm really curious um, if it is like I said, like the core, the Green Lantern core has been destroyed. And you're trying to solve like a murder mystery because True Detective is a very specific tone to model something sure. after. So I'm like, is it going to be Sinestro taking out lanterns? Is it going to be like a murder mystery? It, like, it's just it's all really exciting. Yeah, and I thought that was a cool. Again, I am familiar with the concept of the core. I've seen many an image. Yeah, and so for this to be an introduction, for this to be pretty much like the first Green Lantern centric focused thing I'm watching. Really, yeah, I, haven't even, I haven't even seen the Ryan Reynolds movie, which I know is a perfect. Oh adaptation easily one of the best comic uh, films of all time yeah, yeah 10 yeah. out of 10 and i mean he goes out of his way to re- make us remember oh, he that reminds us lot. all the time that's why he was like <laughs> free guy is a sequel about me and taika teaming up again of course because <laughs> he was my best. That's right. he was a very integral part of my green lantern experience which oh everyone God. knows launched the dc universe oh. they didn't retcon it to make superman the first one no no it is it is canon oh and I and I appreciate that here they they managed to take make that something I don't know it's like uh, as a, if I was a person who was well versed in this going into a new universe I can imagine maybe being taken aback of like they're they're all gone they're like yeah. there's no 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 answers at all but like I like the idea of having this be this mantle that John has to take up but then you get the prospect of all the rings go out into the universe and find the new core. Yeah, and, and then so, you can rebuild without it being like tied to old continuity. Yeah, and coming out of the DC AMU experience yeah. into this, I'm like, oh, that's really cool, though, because even though this is its own timeline already, it's just, yeah, it, it gets that excitement of new prospects yeah. going really sort of uh, uh, organically. There's been three of these, and all three I think would be excellent to adapt to live action for yeah. the new DCU, because... First one was a young Superman that gives you his origin without being an origin, which we don't we know the origin, yeah. but establishes him in a world that isn't Lex Luthor is the big bad. The second one is Batman in a family element, which we yeah. know we are getting, and this is a John Stewart story where you don't sacrifice Hal by ma- like all three of these would be great DCU kickoffs. Well, and the whole thing with Hal, what is he called? Is the parallax? parallax. Like, and that, like, I thought that was really cool. And you and know, I, I should have known about ten minutes earlier. As soon as he had yeah. a beard. <laughs> I knew early, but I should have known early. Nah, they tricked us with the Jesus. The man, with yeah, the Ewan, he just came Ewan out with McGregor, and I was like, man, I want to trust him. Yeah, and that, I mean, seems like a, a choice, a bold choice, certainly motivated by comics choice. But I feel like here, again, having come out of so many of these DCAMU movies, having seen Hal so many times, having yeah. had so many fillions, <laughs> uh, th- I thought it was a really cool way to go one step further than like, oh, yeah, Sinestro, of course. Right. Whereas here it's like, oh, damn, this is like personal just to the concept of Green Lantern and then him with like the f- and Nolan with North the usually Thanos plays fist oh that was so like, that was right from the comic cover that it happens and the comic image, cover is great yeah. but I love that Nolan North is usually like your snarky good guy like you yeah. know Deadpool is not a bad guy he's anti hero but like Nolan North usually plays the snarky good so I think that casting was really solid for Hal because you're like. I'm actually hoodwinked because yeah. he's so charming. Yeah, totally. Yeah, 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 the voices were great across the board, I thought. I had a great time with this. This universe has been solid for me. I know a lot of people weren't as enthralled with this universe as the uh, the last, but both have been solid. I, I think DC, the reputation DC has for their animated movies is very justified. Uh, the bar is high. Yeah. Cannot wait for the yeah. next because these have been all so good, and we are catching up to modern day. We got some other surprises, like I said, for you, so stay tuned. Hit that subscription bell so you know what's coming yeah. before we get out of here. Let's give some love to a Patreon. Remember, if you guys head over to Patreon, you can watch this in their entirety. Watch us experience every moment. But it is a green lantern. So let's give it up for a certain. Uh, well, there's a there's a clear name to me because uh, one of the Green Lanterns that was just cast is a Guy Gardner. Ooh. And it would seem to me that a Chase Gardner Ooh. would be related to Guy. Oh, so yeah. Chase, I hope uh, your uncle Guy Gardner is at least kind to you. He's a bit of a prick. Uh, I know <laughs> he can be a uh, lot to deal with. His heart sometimes in the right place. I don't even want to say always in the right place. Chase is a good but, uh, influence on it. Yeah, I think Chase is really, I mean, clearly Chase is good people as a patron. 100%. But uh, if you could tell Guy to uh, be kinder, uh, less selfish, and get a better haircut. That would mean yeah. a lot to us. That orange bowl <laughs> cut, it had its time, and uh, may we all move on. So Chase Gardner, thank you for being a patron, and thank you for all of your hairstyling advice you're going to give your uncle. We appreciate it. 
All right, that is going to do it, you lovelies. We're going to wrap this out. We will see you next week for something else and maybe something sooner. <gasps> I'm excited. I'm very excited about the other thing. But uh, we'll see you very soon, and I cannot wait to do more of these. As always, an absolute pleasure, John. These are so much fun. Yeah, man. Thank you. What, what a good time. What a so good time. We've, we've always. been through so much. We have. We have so much more to do. And we're going to go back and forth in time, much like comics do. Much love, Reject Nation. We'll see you very soon.